The easiest way to get on the Alabama link is to get a Raspberry Pi, like this one here. This is a Model 2, and there's a Model 3. You'll also need a micro SD card. I recommend you go ahead and get a 32 gig card. That way you won't have any issues. Next, go to alabamalink.info. You click on downloads and there are two programs or pieces of software that you need. We're showing you here. After you download them, you open up Win32 Disk Imager, select the little file icon, and you go to your desktop or wherever you saved your image file. Select that image and then select right to put it on your card. About 15 minutes later, you'll be ready to go. Now, you need to put the card into your Pi. You'll also need to connect up an HDMI monitor to the Pi, power, a keyboard, and a mouse. This is the Pi booting up, and your image will look exactly like this one once you get it. Now there will be some settings that you'll have to go through and change in order for the DV4 Mini to work for you under your call sign. You'll need to set your frequency, your mode, your CCS7 ID, and your grid square locator. Now you can connect to FCS00202 and you'll be connected to the Alabama link. Keep in mind your Pi and Mini software are all set up now so you no longer need the monitor, the keyboard, or the mouse. I would also add that during this time you need to set up your Wi-Fi network. If you plan to plug directly into Ethernet, there's no need to do that. To set up the Wi-Fi network, you simply go to the top of the screen where the little computer icon is or a little uh, Wi-Fi icon is located. Click on the that icon, select your Wi-Fi network, enter your password if it's password protected, and it will now remember that network and you'll connect to that same network in the future.